Hi everybody, it's Joe from PocketNow.com. I've got a little tip for you that a lot of my friends who have Android phones don't seem to know about, so I figure you might be somebody who doesn't know this trick either. So uh, let's get right into it. This is going to be using the Android built-in voice search functionality. We're going to start out with the Google Nexus 1 that I have unlocked and put CyanogenMod ROM on. But this should work with any uh, Android device out there. Uh, anything that has a search functionality built in, which they all do. So one of the nice things about this phone is this little search icon right here. Little button on the home screen. If you don't have that button, that's not a problem. Let me show you what you can do. Go to a blank part of the screen and let's add a widget. And the widget that we're going to add is all the way down here at the bottom. And not all the way at the bottom. It's just simply called search. Tap that and you get a Google search box. Just what you need. It does the same thing as this little search icon. So go ahead and tap that. Type anything in the quick search. Or if we want to go back home, tap that. Type something into the quick search. But today what I really want to show you is how cool this is to search using your voice. Uh, as with all voice recognition, it's important to speak clearly and slowly to enunciate what you're searching for and to realize that you may come up with some undesired results, shall we say, sometimes even comical. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, it's uh, almost 9 o'clock here in the evening. Uh, let's say I'm kind of hungry and I'd like some pizza. So let's see what we got. Tap that and let's click on this microphone icon. Pizza in Syracuse, Utah. Now it's going to go through and parse that text and throw it into a search box. And what does it come up with? Pizza in Syracuse, Utah. That's 100%. It's great. This has done a Google search. And here are my local results for pizza in Syracuse, Utah. I've got Papa John's. I've got Pizzerita, Pizza Factory, Santa Monica Pizza. If I want one of these top three results, I can tap to bring up my dialer and call them right away or I can tap and show them on a map you can see they're just up the road from me I'm just down over here so that works out great if I wanted to I could navigate to that or I can go to the next result further down the road next result let's say I want to go to Papa John's I can get driving directions I'm gonna use maps and we're going to go ahead and navigate to that. And it says, if I want to go get pizza from them right now, this is what I need to do. Piece of cake. I can hop in my car, go and get pizza. Just fabulous. But let's say I'm not in the mood for pizza. Let's say we want to do Indian food. Indian food, Syracuse, Utah. Not going to do anything because I didn't tap the microphone. Indian food, Syracuse, Utah. Let it crunch on that for a little bit. And it comes up with Indian food, Syracuse, Utah. That's two for two. That's really amazing. Of course, I'm in a quiet environment, which helps, but still, the level of recognition, the accuracy is just amazing. You've got Taste of India, which has five stars. It's my favorite Indian place around here. If you ever get out to Utah, you've got to give them a try. We can call them, show them on the map, we can even tap in here and get a little bit more information from the Google local feedback. So that's really nice. You can see 100% across the board. So if you don't know what's around and you want to just see what you can do, go ahead and just voice search for it. Come up with all kinds of reviews, dress codes, uh, what kind of parking is available. All of this is just right there available at your fingertips using the, the built-in search that comes with all Android devices and a connection to the internet. So really, really nice. Uh, last thing that I'd like to show you is a different kind of search. So let's, let's go back to the home page and we'll start over here. Let's say I want to search for Northern Kings. They're an, a group have good music. They're a cover band. If you haven't heard of them, go ahead and look them up. 
let's search for them on our, my device, see what comes up. Hopefully this is going to show you what's on the device as well as some web results, but we'll see. Northern Kings. So right there, it skipped my local search and it's just done a web search, which is really just fine for me. You've got all this stuff, uh, MySpace results, you've got a Wikipedia entry, you've even got some image results and video results. Don't stop believing we, we have to watch a few seconds of that. Tap on it, it opens up the YouTube app, loads the video, starts streaming it, and right there, just using our voice and picking a couple things out, here we've got immediate access to a song in this case, or where we want to go for dinner, or what kind of Indian food is available. So there's a, uh, a neat little tip that hardly any of my friends knew about. If you haven't used the built-in Android search, specifically the voice search, I would really recommend that you give it a try. I'm interested to learn how it works on your device, so please, in the comments, if you'd like, give us a video. Show us how search works on your Android device. If you don't want to do a video, that's okay. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell us what device you have, how often you use search, if it does well for you, and if you use the voice recognition feature and how accurate it is as well. We're really interested to hear back from you. So, for PocketNow.com, I'm Joe Levi showing you the built-in search functionalities of Android devices.